What's happening, everyone? This is Uncle Devin, the children's drum cushionist. I am so glad that you're here to join us again at We Nation Podcast. And We Nation Podcast is part of the We Nation experience. And We stands for Watoto Entertainment and Education. Watoto is a Swahili word that means children. So we're all about children, education, children, entertainment, and this is all for you. And in our podcast, we get a chance to talk to artists or anyone doing some wonderful things for children so we can really learn some of the backstories. How do they get to where they are? How do they do the music and what they have coming up next? And I am so honored to have uh, an, an artist with us that has been nothing but a friend and a supporter of We Nation Radio Many of you all won't, will never know that behind the scenes, all the things that she does to support not just We Nation Radio, but just the entire children's music scene all together. And so I am so glad that uh, that you all are here. And make sure, again, you can follow We Nation Radio at uh, on Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, Hey Google, Amazon Alexa. And again, you can also go to our uh, site to uh, uh, WeNationRadio.com where you will find a um, 24-7 online children's music radio station that features the best and family-friendly global beats for little feet. And we play R&B, hip-hop, jazz, reggae, calypso, go-go, and world music, and blues, a little bit of everything, uh, but all these different uh, stations 24-7. So go to uh, We Nation Radio. There we go. That's what I meant to hit. WeNationRadio.com to find more information. But right now, I am not going to talk anymore until I bring up our one and only guest uh, today, who again is really has made her way in into the industry in in huge ways. Uh, she is a two-time Grammy Award-winning artist comp and composer, and produces passionate music for children, creating a media that brings joy, inspiration, community, highlights, and power uh, and resilience. Uh, and she's the front runner and band leader of Lucy Kalatari and the Jazz Cats. So I want you to help me welcome to the stage the one and only Lucy Kalantari. Welcome to We Nation Radio. Hi, We Nation. Hi, Uncle <laughs> Devin. How are you? I'm doing great. How about yourself? Feeling pretty good, especially talking to you. Thank you so much for having me today. It's such an honor. And again, before I go any further, I just want to thank you for everything that you have done for We Nation Radio. You and I have talked over the last couple of years and more. Uh, but a lot of things that people will never know that you've done and try to help with the We Nation Radio. And so from the bottom of my heart, we need to first say thank you so much for everything mm. that you've done for us. Oh, it is really such a pleasure. I love everything you do. And I love, love, love the music that you play and what you show all our kids and the world. Like, this is all stuff we need to be hearing. So thank you. All right. Well, since we're talking about wonderful music, a lot of that music is yours as well. And I understand, uh, well, first of all, before we even get to your music, tell them a little bit about who you are and what you do. Um, so I am a singer songwriter, producer, uh, arranger, <laughs> and, um, and I love, love, love making music for kids and families. I'm so passionate about that. I used to make music for adults and found that I had so much more fun making music for families. And, um, so uh, I make jazz age inspired. So this is like old jazz from the 20s and 30s. So that sound is really um, very fun for me to make. And I love living in that space. But that's mm -hmm. what I use to communicate uh, messages of joy, community, and resilience. How did you get to uh, appreciate jazz and play jazz music? You know, it's a funny way because uh, I grew up with, you know, a lot of rock, classical, merengue, salsa, <laughs> yes. you know, and, um, uh -huh. but what brought me, had me surrounded in jazz all the time were, was television, was cartoons. Mm. And it was mostly came from uh, Tom and Jerry and Looney Tunes. And um, then there's like a lot of the black and white TV stuff like I Love Lucy. Yes. <laughs> you know, I used to watch I Love Lucy say, that's my name. So, Babalu. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just absolutely delightful. So, like for me, when I think of jazz and that sound, it is that's the memory I have. It's my childhood. It's it's the stuff that makes me feel like a kid again. 
Yes, <laughs> absolutely. And 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 really those cartoons from back in the day, the music was absolutely incredible. I mean, yes. every soundtrack and every theme song had purpose. <laughs> you can go yes. back and listen to them and I loved it. It's so uh, wonderful. And like it, it really uh exposed just the way you're doing you know, to show children all these different styles, all these sounds. Yes. And um, I got this other exposure of stuff that wasn't necessarily um, pop when I was, you know, when I was watching it, right? Because like yes. in the 20s, jazz, that was the pop music of the time. Yes. But then, um, so I got to appreciate these sounds and it's mm -hmm. like, it didn't even occur to me that this is like old fashioned or anything right. like that. It's just music. It's fantastic it music. music. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And so I want to talk a little bit about the fact that you've been able to take this music that you love and now you've made a career out of it. And I appreciate you saying that you used to do adult music. So did I. But it's nothing like performing <laughs> for children and families, the joy, the love, even if there's only three children in the audience. To me, is better than the thousands of people I could have played for uh, in front of others. So let's talk a little bit about your albums. Now, you are a two time Grammy award winning um <laughs> a uh, winner uh one for as an artist and one as a producer <laughs> like, so ooh. talk tell tell the audience a little bit about the the album that you won a grammy for first before we go to uh the, the album that you produced uh sure it's uh the album was it was our fourth studio album and uh called all the sounds and uh, by that point, I started off as just Lucy Kalantari, but then I, I rebranded to Lucy Kalantari and the Jazz Cats because I really wanted to show like, here's the thing that we're putting out. And like, um, and I thought that was really fun, fun to do it that way. And what I wanted to do with all the sounds is I really, similar to like my own childhood where I was being exposed to all these sounds and, and absorbing them, putting them in my life, I wanted uh, families to listen to this and do the same, like always listen, pay attention, stay present. And how do you do that? You know, it's one thing just saying stay present, but it's another thing like, hey, check this out. Did you ever think of this? Did you try this? You know, and it just sort of, um, that's, that's the inspiration behind it. And, uh, and it's just, I'm so amazed, you know, still hearing anyone say two time <laughs> Grammy, <laughs> I'm like, who? Wow, it's great. It's a wonderful album. Um, congratulations on that. And then this year, well, last year, well, I guess it would, would have been this year in 2021 when the uh, Grammy Awards were announced, you helped <laughs> to produce another incredible album by another one of our colleagues. Talk a little bit about that, that won the Grammy for Best Children's Album. Oh, that was uh, so exciting. And even during a pandemic, it was so wonderful that we were still able to celebrate it in a different way, right? It wasn't in yes. LA. And um, but uh, so after winning the first one, <laughs> Joni had approached me because she had this idea of doing an all women project. And, um, you know, and I felt like it was in line still with that mission of joy and community. And it's still, you know, building our kids for the future. And yeah. um, it, what wound up happening as I was making it is, is just, you know, I wish I had this album when I was growing up. <laughs> yeah. you know? Imagine that. Imagine it. Really. <laughs> yes. And so it became a thing. I really wanted, you know, children to hear that, yeah, they can do this and mm -hmm. and all the different things in between and all the different lives we have and, and check it out. Uh, so so this is it was just such a pleasure to do it. I'm, I'm just yeah. so happy that it and that became is this honor. And that is again with Joni Leeds, our, uh, um, who's the, 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 I guess the the name of the album is underneath her name, but one of our just phenomenal artists in family music. And it's very important also because we still are dealing with gender uh, equity in all industries, but definitely even in family music. So that album really was important on many different levels, and it really mm -hmm. highlighted the work of many uh, women uh, in mm -hmm. family music. So congratulations with that. And so thank you. Now we're moving to the next phase and you have a new album out that just was released on uh, September 17th, 2021. Talk a yes. little bit about that album. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, okay. So it's called What Kind of World? Now, this was the thing that I, uh, an idea I had like a while back. I always have like all the albums. I have like the next five albums in my head, you know, planned out mm -hmm. and I have to plot it in my, in my journals. Mm -hmm. And, um, 
this was one and I felt the time was ripe to make it. Mm-hmm. I felt it was it was time to make it happen. Right. And um, you know, I feel like uh people sorry. feel oh okay. I'm sorry, that was me hitting the wrong button. <laughs> I hit the wrong button, but go ahead. I'm sorry, we're gonna come back to that in a minute. <laughs> it's all good. Pit. Uh, anyway, I felt like uh, people feel are are ripe and ready to hear and and try stuff, and I think it's yes. really wonderful. And um, but the thing is, uh, when we make any kind of change, we do have to visualize what that change looks like. Absolutely. Uh, and and that will help kind of get us to that goal. And then, of course, what that journey looks like. And yes. so, um, I really wanted to hit again those three points the joy community and resilience so mm-hmm. it goes from every everything the, the what kind of world the title track is like very anthem anthemic right it's very yeah. very big yeah. uh, but then there's all the stuff supporting it in between there's like all the community the friendship um you know the the family mm-hmm. and the rough parts because right. nothing is smooth sailing Yes. And um and how we have to, you know, how we pick ourselves up and we dust it mm-hmm. off and we try again. And that's yeah. so important to remember right. that nothing's going to be quite that easy, right? We see, we always see the movies. It's just like this and then this, maybe mm-hmm. a little bit of conflict and then this. But it's just like you feel that heavy weight of conflict, right? You feel like you have failed. But no, no, right. no. There is no <laughs> failure. <laughs> right. <laughs> we learn. We learn from these things. That's right. And, and that's the thing about it. There's no failure. It is about learning. And you partner with some wonderful artists on this as well. Talk a little bit about who's on who who collaborated with you on this. Yeah. So I had uh, I had this vision again of just like uh, now each each song has its kind of story of like why it existed with these particular people. For mm-hmm. example, Friendship Party. Like this was years ago, uh, you know, Jazzy Ash, our mm-hmm. wonderful, wonderful, fabulous friend. Mm-hmm. Uh, she and I had talked about having three voices together, kind of like the Andrews sisters. So three part okay. harmony. Mm-hmm. So for, for our friends at home who are listening to this, this is more old jazz. <laughs> but it was just this harmony. It was just, whoa. Mm-hmm. And they, they all just using their wonderful instruments singing perfectly in uh, together mm-hmm. and uh so is the there's another artist named jojo from jojo and the pine cones mm-hmm. and so the three of us together uh we wanted to see what it would be like if we sang a song that would be for families mm-hmm. and so it was the seed that was planted many years ago and i'm like okay now's the time let's do it right there you go <laughs> so i penned i penned this song i called them up and they had forgotten or like oh yeah you know because pandemic happened and yes. like and everyone was so excited when they heard the tune they're like this is right so mm-hmm. i feel like this might be i'm hoping that this is just a taster of more to come later what right. do you think uncle Devin? yeah oh without a doubt <laughs> would you, you know, want to hear the, the three of us again <laughs> oh of course i do the beautiful it is a beautiful song in fact um uh you know even bringing out that jazz part to me is that that's a music certainly that will never get old. I know you say it's kind of old school, but it 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 brings so much energy. And what you mm-hmm. all did with it was incredible. And so, um, in fact, is this a? Would you consider your album an EP, or would you consider it a full album? Yeah, it's a, it's an EP. Okay, absolutely. Now, do you have a song on there called "Round and Round"? I believe. Yes. We so that. that. Oh, you did. Yeah, we Thank played it so on We Nation Radio on WPFW eighty nine point three FM last week. We'll be playing it on our show on KBOO uh, uh, 90.1 FM in Portland, Oregon uh, on, I got to get the date, whatever next Thursday is. Uh, today is the 24th, 20, on the 30th of September. But okay. beautiful song. You, I mean, Thank your you. voice is, uh, I, I guess I've grown to even appreciate it even more. And um, But we'll talk a little bit about the song Round and Round. So Round and Round uh, wasn't supposed to be on that album. <laughs> there was something else. But right. um, th- uh, things out of our control happen. Yes, and right. and so we have to dust it off and get up again, which right. is I, I felt it, I wanted to write about that, about that feeling of just like, you know, what it feels like when when we're about to do something that's really hard or when you fall and or and you feel like you failed. And because mm-hmm. all those feelings are very difficult. 
but right. they're also very needed. They're very much needed to grow up. Right. And so um, I wrote it over the course of a couple of days, just two days. And I remember my my uh, my boys in the house. So <laughs> my son and and my husband, they had gone off on a camping trip. And I'm just like, okay, go. So now I could uh, have the house to myself so I could write, record and do it. So I, I wrote the song for one day. I sent them a little like a uh, recording, a little scratch recording of it and said, I think I got it. Like, I think I got the song. So they heard it out there and, and uh, they're like, oh, this is really nice. I'm like, okay. So then the next day I'm here at home. I, my bass player comes over. I played everything in that song except okay. for the bass. Um, oh, did you? Okay. I, I, I yeah. to ask you, we're going to talk a little bit about that, about all the instruments that you play. I, I forgot to ask about that, but go ahead and finish. <laughs> yeah. So I, I just tracked everything, just sort of wanted to see what does this track need? What it, mm -hmm. what does it, what is it calling for to, to push the message forward? Right. And um, once I was done, you know, it felt, it just felt like home. I remember when right. I first tracked the, the vocals, I started crying. <laughs> Oh, and wow. I'm like, okay, That's this when you is, know you got this it. is where, it, yeah, I'm like, okay, well, hey, this is, and it doesn't so matter. Honest. And it doesn't matter whether anybody else likes it at that point, because that's that's when you know you're a true artist. When it touches you, that's all you care, because you're putting you out there. So that's yeah. a great analogy to put put out there for folks, because um, it's got to it's got, really got to start with us first in, internally. That's right. Wow. So so I showed I, I bring up the the thing about the the boys going camping, because mm -hmm. <laughs> when they come back. Uh, I showed the song, the final record, here's the final recording. Um, I did a little scratch mix and what do you think? Mm -hmm. And like, you know, I'm done. I'm thinking I'm totally done. <laughs> and, uh, you know, both my husband and, and Darius, they were just like, oh, this came out really great. And then Darius comes up to me and he says, I, mom, I have a, I have a harmony I was working on during the camping trip. And I went, wait, what? Whoa. <laughs> So How old is he? I, he's eight. Wow. And uh, so apparently when they heard the scratch vocal, mm -hmm. uh, the scratch recording that I did, you know, he was singing the, the chorus stuck in his head. And so he was singing and he was singing a harmony. And, and the story goes, so I'm told, is that he was using, he was learning how to use an axe, you know, to cut wood. <laughs> and he's like singing the chorus. Oh, song. he's a work song. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just like, um, but he, he came back with all his limbs, which is great. But anyway, I heard I heard his uh, his harmony and it was wonderful, Devin. I'm like, wow. set up that microphone again. I set yeah. it all up in my little vocal booth and and i got him in there like i it wasn't done i needed right. darius and so darius sang in the in the last chorus is such a beautiful harmony so that's where you hear wow. the three-part harmony thanks to wow. him wow that is incredible <laughs> and it goes to show that music is a, is a is, is, is spirit it's it's bigger than us it's emotion is it speaks to the soul and so that's you all right. had a connection even though y'all weren't in the right? same room when you created it so that's amazing. Wow. That is that it really is amazing. Um now you were talking about the song that you did uh with Jazzy Ash and was it uh jo Joel Laurie? Is that how they pronounce mm -hmm. it? That's right. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to sh uh, share with the audience just a little bit of your video, uh, which I accidentally played uh from a few minutes ago trying to engineer <laughs> and MC at the same time. Uh and so this is Lucy Kalatari and the Jazz Cats, and we're gonna just play just a short portion of Friendship Party. Featuring Jazzy Ash and uh, Joel Lori. Let's check this out. Oh, yeah. This is swinging. And around to me, friends. I just can't wait to see their faces outside on the weekend we'll move and dance and fill the spaces howling with laughter the healing sounds of friends together lifting us higher as we build memories to treasure Ooh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to stop the tease right there. 
and encourage everyone to go to your YouTube page at YouTube at Lucky Kalatari Music. And oh, go, Lucy. I mean, Lucy, Lucy what did I say? <laughs> you know what? I, I was saying that earlier when I was typing. I said, I guarantee people always say Lucky because they uh, just they throw a K in there. Lucy Kalatari Music. Uh, that's L-U-C-Y-K-A-L-A-N-T-A-R-I-M-U-S-I-C for those that are listening on the radio. Uh, and make sure not only do you listen to the song, make sure you like it, you share it, mm. and subscribe. That's yes. most important to us. That is gold for us. So beautiful video. Who, um, Where were you all at when you did this video? Is this New York oh City? Oh, my gosh. Up? Thank you so much. Yeah, so this is Brooklyn. Uh, mm. Watching that just now, thank you for playing that a little bit because, you know, I don't watch it often because it's my video. <laughs> but it's just like, oh, my gosh, this makes me so happy. <laughs> yes, it's a beautiful and, video. Uh, oh, thank you so much. I'm so happy with how it came out. It took place in Brooklyn, and mm. uh, it's the Brooklyn Promenade, so you get to see the whole New York City skyline. Oh, and, okay. uh, yes. and so that was really fun. And uh, it was directed by Matt, Matt Mayers and um, and his brother helped. And and uh, let's see, we had all sorts of swing dancers uh -huh. <laughs> come out and it yeah. was really great. I, it was a, a friend that I met many years ago just through music and, and mm -hmm. Grammy stuff. She's mm -hmm. uh, she told me in passing how she's a dancer. She's an actress, dancer. And uh, she specializes in, in jazz, especially like she had done stuff for like, um, like there was a cotton club, a film about the cotton club and she was mm -hmm. in it. So I went to her and I'm like, hey, so I have this idea. Mm -hmm. And so she came up with the friendship party dance. So it's like there's wow. a whole nothing like friendship party. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. there's a whole thing here. <laughs> like, and um, hopefully I, I hope soon to to make a few little video clips to invite more friends to to come sure. dance together. Yes. That was just great. such a delight to do. Yeah. I don't know if you, you knew this, but you know, I once played with the great Dizzy Gillespie. No, really? Uh, <laughs> I, was, I have it on videotape on my YouTube page. And I was in college because I was playing in at I was I went to the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. I was a freshman and we invited Dizzy Gillespie to do a concert, but then he did a workshop first. So the jazz band was playing and we were playing one of his songs called Allen Girl, and I was on the drums. Well, the director goes over to him while we're playing and says, Did you would you like to do a solo? He said, Yes. I'm a freshman now. <laughs> I'm sitting playing the drums. And then Dizzy just goes out and plays this beautiful solo. And I'm sitting there like, please don't drop your sticks. Please don't slow the tempo down. Please don't mess up. I was so nervous. But um, but I grew up, thanks to my father in particular, love and you know, have a, a great passion for jazz music. Oh, how wonderful. Yeah. And what so a great I experience. Yeah, I'm gonna send everybody back. So you can also go to your website at uh Lucy Calatari, um, dot com. Mm -hmm. And you see these beautiful pictures. You see there's information where you can find out about our shows, pictures, um, uh, press, and more. Uh, and you heard that music. It is, we call it children's music, but it's really music that just so happens to be made for children. <laughs> That's right. That's how we look at it. And so <laughs> we, we don't dumb down this music, as you can hear. This is some wonderful, top-quality music. And then uh, go back to talking a little bit about um, what instruments you play. Um. Well, I started off on the piano. Mm -hmm. I, I was, uh, I was, I received some classical training on piano for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of it is, though, at the beginning, I was more like by ear, you know, self-taught. Mm -hmm. And, um, and then let's see, I do uh, ukulele. That's like mm -hmm. the, the thing I do mostly with the jazz cat. So though, this is probably like uh, the first album that I put out that I have more piano than than anything else like uh you know my adult music I always did piano so it's like I felt like I merged like my worlds here <laughs> right <laughs> uh so that was fun and um you know I dabble on the cajon which I'm mm. sitting on right now oh there it is cajon <laughs> and yeah. uh you know and anything else I can get my hands on I played just a little bit of cello like mm. enough to have understanding so that I can mm. write for it you okay. know and um so like, uh, but, it, you know, Darius is the pro here with the cello. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> and then, um, you know, all the other percussion kind of things, like things in between, I try to throw in. It's not totally pro-grade, but enough to, to get my message or ideas across. 
Well, I'm so proud of you, uh, Lucy. I, 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 I love the presentation that you put out. I love the representation that you make with the music um, and your passion for children. That, to me, comes across clear. I also thank you because of you. I got a chance to do my first school assembly in New York City. <laughs> Uh, right before the pandemic. I don't know if you remember, that was in February. Oh, right, yes. <laughs> February 2020, <laughs> where I was up in New York, and we ended up also playing a few other places while we were there. So thank you so much oh, uh, awesome. for for sharing, sharing your platform, because you didn't have to do that. All right, so talk to me a little bit about your collaboration with Saul Paul on your new album. Well, similar to Friendship Party, there were some things that I felt like needed to happen and they had to happen with certain people. And um, Saw Paul was always the person that I wanted in this song. And uh, so uh, the this is the title track, it's the big one. And uh, I wanted to do something very epic. And um, and I know like something about Saw Paul, we had so much fun uh, collaborating on, on Rainbow uh, a, a year ago. And I'm like, we can do something else. So this was, this was his song. I'm like, we're gonna do this. So um, with a little bit of talking and a little bit of like, here's, here's kind of like what I'm thinking in terms of here's the vibe of, of what I've got. And here are the lyrics that I have for, for all the other stuff. So I, I left the space Mm -hmm. specifically that's like the verse for for saw paul and wow. in, in all my notes it was always like saw paul rap <laughs> it was like and like when i was pra practicing it at home i remember like darius loved playing it with me and and um i would uh, at that point when i would get there it's like i'm saw paul and i'm saying stuff and it's going to be really inspiring and really awesome <laughs> and you know what it is inspiring and awesome so like wow. he sent me he sent me like the draft of what the you know what he did the, what you hear on the recording and mm -hmm. i'm so glad he didn't do that like in person oh okay. yeah. i was a mess i was wow. crying like very happy wow. happy tears because it yes. just like it touched my heart in in all the right ways. Yeah, and like um, and he hit all all the notes. Yeah, and yeah all he's the puns amazing. Intended. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's called "What Kind of World." That's the song that he's on. Is that correct? That's right. The okay. Now, is there track. is there a video for that one that you have? No, oh, you, not yet. Okay. Do you think there okay. should be? <laughs> oh well, I mean, always, but I just wasn't sure because I was going to share a little bit of it uh, here. But I'm going to encourage people to go and get the album so you can hear. Lucy Kalitari and the Jazz Cats featuring Saul Paul uh, with the title track, What Kind of World? Um, it's amazing to see the, the number of collabor collaborations that take place. And, yeah, and, and that song, especially, if you don't mind me telling you, like sure. it, it's like quite a, a kindy uh, choir. Because like, so this one I told you, it's like anthemic, right? I had like yes. this big sound. How do I make this big sound during uh -huh. a pandemic? <laughs> How right. do I get anthemic during a pandemic? I right. don't know. So, um, you know, I wanted a string section. So it's just like I needed to layer strings because I can't have a whole orchestra. So mm -hmm. let's get five string players. So Darius is in there and I got some wonderful uh, friends. Elena Moon Park is playing violin. Oh, uh, really? Car yeah, Carissa, the violinist. She's like so wonderful. And um, uh, on viola, which I don't normally write for for this one, I was just like, all right, I need that middle voice in there. So I wrote wrote for viola and um i got paul lariah there and uh my son's uh cello teacher eric uh sean renee who often makes an appearance so uh darius and his teacher were playing <laughs> in wow. in our, our little mini orchestra and yeah. then like for the choir because i couldn't have everybody all in one place mm -hmm. like well wouldn't it be neat if we have like kind of a kindy choir and so you know i called out so you have a uh, little miss Anne. uh mm -hmm. i hope i don't forget any names but like joni leeds is on there sonia de los santos flora bromley wow. um and uh snook nook yes snook nook oh. does like a fantastic appearance like she goes mm. like i'm like there's this little part here can you do a little little something and mm. oh she did a little something <laughs> 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 like wow uh wow. and um Let's see who else. And then uh, Lachi, who's mm -hmm. this one not in kindy. She's someone I've known for so many years. Uh, she does electronic music. And mm. she's she's also blind. And she's a really 
big, she's really big on, uh, on advocacy for, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm more, I'm forgetting the word here, mm -hmm. uh, for disability rights advocate. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, she's so wonderful. Just her personality is so huge. And uh, we had just been reconnecting recently. I'm like, hey, can you sing, you know, in this? I am so excited about the future with her and I. Like, I want to do so much more with her because yeah. we just got like a little taste in there. So it's such yeah. a great, I'm sorry for the people that I'm missing, yeah. but this was like, uh, I was so happy with everybody wow. who took part. <laughs> that's great. I'm, I didn't know, I didn't realize, um, you know, that's the one thing I do miss about getting physical CDs is unless you go to someone's site, you don't really get a chance to read all the notes and, and everything right. in it. So thanks for sharing that. And that was, that's a great cast. I mean, Ellen on uh, uh, Parks, uh, I mean, uh, uh, you, you said Joni Leeds is on it. I mean, that's great. So, and that song again is the title track of your new song, uh, CD, What Kind of World, that came out on September 17th, 2021. It's available on all the platforms, but you can also go to lucycalatari.com uh, and, and find out more information for, uh, uh, really and, and purchase it there. So, Lucy, thank you so much again for being a, a guest here on We Nation Radio. Uh, we can't wait to uh, continue to listen to more of the music. And at some point, I know you and I are going to have to do a little collaborating as well. Oh, I'd love that. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's all right. do it. All right. So, so much welcome. And for everyone, thank you all for tuning in. Wasn't that great? The one and only Lucy Kalatari and the Jazz Cats. Make sure you go and check it out. Well, listen, we got to get out of here. Thank you for tuning in to We Nation Radio. Again, you can listen to, you're going to hear Lucy's music. You're going to hear so many other great artists, even when you go to WeNationRadio.com uh, and tune in, take a listen, and we, we'll try to make sure we always bring you the best and family-friendly global beats for little feet. So I need to get out of here. I'm Uncle Devin, the children's drum, drum cushionist. And remember, life is a drum, so beat it. <laughs>